what I'd like to do here is have a look at a couple of examples of the vary pattern option in SOLIDWORKS. Now if we take this particular component here and what we've got is uh, just a very simple slot that's been added in. So if we just uh, have a look at this you can see it's just uh, some sketch entities but this particular edge here it's actually been offset from this particular edge here and then trimmed back. So what I'd like to do is actually pattern this slot down but as the slot actually is patterned down I'd like it to increase in width to accommodate this particular sketch that was originally done offset 20 millimeters from this edge here. Now using the normal patterning tools if we just go to our features and we just go to linear pattern what we'd like to do is pattern it down this particular edge here and we want eight instances at 40 millimeters spacing. The features we want to pattern is that particular slot and you can see we get a preview and we can just accept that and see what that gives us. Now basically it's given us exactly as the preview would show. Okay, It's made no difference, it's just copied the slot uh, exactly the same as the previous one. Well, let's actually go back into this pattern and have a quick look at this again. And what we can do is instead of actually choosing the direction which is the edge, we have got another option if we clear that selection and we can choose the actual dimension. Now once we choose the dimension what will happen here is the very sketch option will be highlighted here. So if I click on there and make sure I'm going in the right direction we still get the same preview but the very sketch option is now available to us and if I tick that option we do lose the preview but when we accept it you'll see that the actual end result is completely different using the very sketch option. Okay, another example of this is using the very sketch in a circular pattern. So let's just actually open up uh, this particular example here and you can see that all we've got here is a slot that as it's actually been patterned round in a circular manner the slot increases. Now if we actually go and have a look at the sketch here and we'll just edit it what we've got here is uh, the sketch has been created at 23 millimeters from the origin but what we've got is these particular endpoints have been made coincident to the actual ellipse that goes round. So as this sketch is actually rotated round it should in effect increase the length of the slot. Now that is exactly what this does so if we actually edit the pattern itself and we have a look at it what we've got here is the very sketch option is indeed already selected and the reason that that's a been able to be selected is because we've chosen the direction to be this dimension albeit an angular dimension. If I change this and I clear the selection and I choose an axis that we've got through the center instead you'll see that on the preview straight away we don't get the option to select very sketch hence it'll just do a direct copy of our original slot. So the very sketch option does give us a lot more functionality uh, than previous.